VC approves transfer of the 338 per station also across the country appeals of the candidature underway for the third day. Seat sharing not discussed yet with the Jatiya Party says by the Kader Jatiya Party will come to power if election is a fair, says Chunno. High Court denies bail to Major Fokul, issues a rule BNP observing 10 phrase of the blockade. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Farhani Yasmin with the news and today watching headlines. Now, the details. The Election Commission has allowed the transfer of OCs of 338 police stations across the country ahead of the upcoming 12 National Assembly elections. Earlier on November 30, the Election Commission directed the Ministry of Public Administration and the Ministry of Home Affairs to transfer all postal executive officers and OCs of all police stations. For this reason, the organization asked to send the proposal of who will be transferred. Meanwhile, the Election Commission is accepting appeals of the disqualified candidates for the third day of regaining their candidature in the 12 National Assembly elections. The Election Commission will hear and decide the submitted appeals from 10 to 15 December. The Election Commission is a constitutionally independent institution. Foreign powers have no right to exert any kind of pressure on elections. There is no pressure from a foreigners regarding the 12th National Assembly election. In the morning, in Tanga District Commissioner Conference Room on the occasion of the 12th National Polls, E.C. Mohamed Alumge said this is a chance meeting with the District Returning Officer, Assistant Returning Officer, Law and Order Forces, and other persons related to the election. Deputy Commissioner of Tanga and District Returning Officer Kai Sarul Islam presided over the meeting. Assistant Returning Officer representatives of the law enforcement and election related persons were present, among others. BNP has created a new record of brutality in a fight to says Awamalik General Secretary Badal Kader in a briefing at the Awamalik President's Portugal Office as Dan Mundi in the capital. He said even a chickens are now enemies of BNP. There are also atrocious of a setting fire to the baby chickens. He said that to make the election free, fair, peaceful and participatory secret attacks and sabotages will be resisted in the unity with the election-oriented forces. Abadul Kader said that all the contemporary issues were discussed with the Jatiya party, there was no discussion about seat sharing. Unlike BNB, in the 1991 election, the Jatiya Party could come to power by winning a silent revolution. The Japan General Secretary Mujibul Haq Chunno has a claim that he does not want to share seats for this reason. He made this claim at a press conference at Bonane office at noon. Chunno said that although the by-elections held during the current government were not to please and Awamalik as a democratic party will surely organize the national elections properly. BNP Secretary General Major Fokul Islam Alam Girsa Bail has been denied by the High Court in a case of attack on the Chief Justice residence. Justice Mohammed Salim and Justice Shahid Nuruddin gave this judgment in the High Court bench. Besides, a rule has been issued asking why the court did not grant bail. On November 22, the lower court denied bail to BNP Secretary General in this case. On the last day of the 10th phase of the blockade program, BNP and its alliance held marches at several places in the morning demanding the resignation of the government and elections under a non-partisan government. Senior Joint Secretary General of BNP Ruhul Kovarezvi participated in the procession in Shah Jahanpur of the capital. However, public life seems normal throughout the country, including the capital with uh, vehicles running normal. 
Bali. Meanwhile, on the first day of the blockade, nine vehicles were attached in different parts of the country, including Dhaka. Among them, three buses were set on fire at Jatabari's Maniknogo intersection. Besides, miscreants set fire to transport in some areas, including Shiaj Consulate and Gajipur. Supreme Court lawyer Vokistad Hassan he has uh, filed a writ in the High Court challenging the provision of a death penalty in the criminal law of Bangladesh. The writ sought direction for promulgation of the rule seeking to know why the provision of a death penalty should not be declared invalid and illegal. The writ was uh, filed in the relevant branch of the High Court on Thursday. A hearing on this writ petition may be held in a bench of the High Court on December 9. In the writ petition, the Secretary of the Ministry of Law and Justice, the Secretary of the Legislative and Parliamentary Affairs Department and the Registrar General of the Supreme Court have been made respondents. U.S. Ambassador to Bangladesh Peter Haas said his country is keen to depend work with Bangladesh private sector and other stakeholders to advance internationally recognized labor rights in the government industry and beyond, speaking at a function organized to mark Bangladesh Cotton Day today. He said strong labor laws and enforcement are essential for bilateral relations, sustainable and inclusive development, and a stable and predictable operating environment for U.S. companies operating in Bangladesh. Alexander Mantiski, the Russian ambassador to Dhaka, said that there is no country but United Nations has the authority to can ban any country. He also said if any Western country tries to impose economic sanctions on Bangladesh, Dhaka Moscow will discuss this situation. The Russian ambassador said this in response to a question from the journalist at the seminar title, Talk with Ambassadors at the National Press Club today. We are about to the end the headlines once again. EC approves transfer of the 338 police station also across the country. Appeals of the candidature underway for the third day. Seat sharing not discussed yet with the Jatiyo Party says Badul Khader. Jatiyo Party will come to power if election is a fair, say Juno. High Court denies bail to Major Fokul, issues a rule be it observing 10 phrase of the blockade. Thanks for being with us to join with my TV news on and use YouTube slash my TV video news to watch all our programs YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. And next, your bulletin will be telling us 7.30 pm. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.